Roger, go for deploy. The idea of colonizing another world has always been a fantasy of ours. It is in our nature to pioneer new lands, to settle and inhabit even the most unforgiving environments. If NASA's astronauts are to have a long-term presence on the moon or on Mars, they'll need to figure out ways to build habitable structures. Something that will protect them from the extreme temperatures, radiation, and micrometeorites. NASA's engineers face a major challenge. Shipping large quantities of cement or other heavy building materials aboard a rocket just isn't practical or cost-effective. Engineers at NASA's Swamp Works are developing a solution, 3D printing habitats on other planets using natural resources found on site on the planet's surface. Along the way, we discovered that what they are doing, and then uh, we realized how this could be utilized for the industrial construction, how we can build uh, the sustainable structures. Using new additive manufacturing technology, combined with the latest advancements in material science, structures can be sustainably built using a combination of local materials and lightweight recycled materials. By mixing small amounts of plastic waste with lunar or Martian regolith, similar to dirt and rock found in desert climates on Earth. A cement-like structure is formed and composited into place with robotic precision. We are using Fusion 360 for the design, power shape for the redesign, and power mill for the tool path generation. The technology that we're seeing today is, is incredibly valuable because it's using automation in order to produce that. And so that means that I can repeat the process in even the most remote area of this planet. The materials and techniques being developed on this project have the potential to revolutionize the way we do construction here on Earth, too. Plastic pollution could be recycled to sustainable 3D printed streets, sidewalks, playgrounds, even habitable structures. This is really the future of making things, is how we reimagine designing for manufacturing. So now we need to rethink how we design and manufacture parts by joining these two skills in one. We have the opportunity to advance them together in order to reach new frontier, either to impact the life here, but as well the life in the moon, in Mars. Ignition sequence start. Three, two, one.